So that means I can't have this baby around the life, even if that means I'm raising it by myself. Listen here, I don't need to be out of this shit to protect y'all. I need to be on top, okay? That don't work for me. Bye, Tariq. Hey! Hello, man, what up? Ah. What's up, how was your thing? I wanted to do, do this for do this for a long time. Promise me, Tariq, you promise, promise, promise me! They say it's a big, rich town. Do the shit, you can never go back. Reek, if you do this shit, you can never go back. Welcome back Top Notch Gang to another video and we had a banger of a mid-season finale and I'm here to recap break down everything that went on because it definitely was a lot like so much shit took place within this one episode that i don't even know where to start but i'm not gonna waste you guys it's time i'll leave timestamps down below in the description if you're looking for a particular part Tariq and diana's pregnancy noma exposing Tariq and brady still being a game detective carter catching monet and drew everything as usual leave a like comment subscribe and let's get right into it now we got to start off with diana's pregnancy her choice she was gonna make because that was a big topic of conversation coming into this episode what of course us seeing kane telling her this would be the worst mistake of her life monet telling her this is a new start that she's gonna fix the family and now we know she came to a decision and she told Tariq that she's gonna keep it now this raised even more problems because she told him she wants this baby as far away from the game as possible she doesn't want to be like monet ain't no one foot in one foot but out no separating it no straight up she's out meanwhile Tariq before he tells her what he wants to do he was off the acid because L drugged him we're gonna get to that later in the video but L drugged him so he was having all these visions and hallucinations of what his life would be like with this kid and Diana and he looked happy so I think that's why he told her that he wanted to have it but then he sees he still has a target on his back people like Kane still out to get him him of course lying to diana saying he was out the game but he isn't and her pulling the trigger on him and last but not least has a hallucination of his future son pulling the gun out on him just like he did to ghost telling him the opposite though i'm in the way of your future you're in the way you're in the way of my future like you said he was in the way of yours i'm in the way of your future right basically telling Tariq that he's putting the game over his family and Tariq repeating the same words as goes if you do this you can never go back do the shit you can never go back Tariq if you do this shit you can never go back and then he's having a conversation with himself the one that did kill ghost telling him to basically go all in on the game telling him that this is the pack going forward and that's what Tariq decides to do he goes to get the ultrasound with diana at the doctor and they have this conversation once again she says she wants out she wants this baby nowhere near the game but Tariq, he finally gives ghost some credit i give him credit for that he finally said ghost was trying to protect them keep them out the game he was trying to get out the life but Tariq basically said that ghost always had the people coming for him or pulling him back down it was one foot in one foot out he was never gonna be free basically and that definitely has some truth to it but what Tariq decides to do is he says he wants to go all in and sit at the very top and says that's how he's gonna protect diana and the baby say he's not leaving the game and diana says that's not good enough for me and she's done with the nigga she says bye Tariq. she's gonna raise the baby by her herself from what we know at this point and this is an L decision by him he just got exposed by Noma this is his chance family is supposed to be the most important thing to him we know how he feels about Yaz, Tasha, his grandma anybody but ghosts basically but this is the decision he makes I can't even blame Diane I know y'all probably be mad at her but I can't even be mad at her for this situation especially because I kept repeating what the doctor told her do you have the right family and support system to bring up baby into this world you really have to ask yourself do you have the right kind of environment and 
family to bring a new life into the world. And she repeats that to Monet within this episode as well. Emma, what kind of mother would I be bringing a baby into this mess? So this decision that she made, she told him straight up and he still made his own decision. So I can't even fault her anymore. A few more things to touch on that might play a part later between these two is he asks how we know the baby is his. You guys have been saying it's going to be Salim's. It's going to be Salim's. She says she used condoms for Salim's, but the night Tariq popped up, it was kind of spur of the moment. They didn't use a condom. The baby is his. But I'm not trying to pin no baby on you, Tariq. You ain't my first choice trust me and she says she's not trying to throw a baby on him especially now that she's telling him he doesn't have to take care of it i don't know why people still think it's gonna be for Salim. but also she asked him about Salim within this episode what happened to him he's missing her calls he's not answering and shit and Tariq lies to her doesn't tell her that he killed that nigga basically says he just got the information of diana's location and left he don't know where that nigga is so when the season comes back around i expect that to pop back up we gotta see how Diana react to it maybe that has something to do with the episode description talks about her stepping further into the game or risking her family's safety if the cops come sniffing around asking questions about Salim she might want to protect Tariq because he still is the father of her baby even if he's still trying to be in the game he could change his mind she might still want him there down the line we're gonna have to wait and see for all of that but that's Diana's decision to keep the baby that's Tariq his hallucinations the parallels to his conversation with ghosts everything that took place with that let's move on to the next section next we have noma exposing that Brady and tariq are still in the game and i was right on how all of this took place in this episode we picked up where we left off basically where tariq and anya we see the night they had with each other they drinking and then they leave the party now they end up sleeping together then that morning they exchange numbers talk about going to more parties together whatever whatever obviously he's using her as leverage but when Anya is making her way home, Noma is there waiting for her. Amidst this conversation and argument between them, she drops product out her purse from Tariq and Brayden's party. Now, I showed you guys in my last video how this was going to match up to the stuff they was putting in the t-shirts with the little green bag. Anya told her that she got it from somewhere on Stansfield. Now, knowing it's from Stansfield and that's where Effie is dealing, she goes and questions her about it. And Effie says that's not her product. She wasn't selling no party and no more was like so whose is it effie kind of realizes oh it's Tariq. she doesn't say anything and no is like it's fine i'll handle it myself and that's what she goes to do her and kane pull up at Tariq's party walk up right up on him and says we know you're back in the game he tries to lie and deny the shit but kane knows how he moves weight because he moved weight in the frappuccino cups with the bottom you can unseal in season three and now he's doing the same with the LaFlash cups that they got selling out this party. So Kane peep right away that this nigga is selling. This is his shit. And they tell this nigga, let's go. Time for you to die. But just then, Anya pulls up to the party. And I told you guys this was exactly that was going to happen. That Anya was going to be the one to save him, basically. Because Noma can't show who she really is to her daughter. She has to protect this image and i said they weren't gonna take him out it was gonna get pushed back now i did think that they was gonna have this meetup between all of them davis Tariq, noma and kane in this episode because we saw it in the trailers but now with the new sneak peek trailer we're gonna break that down tomorrow we see that that's when this scene is gonna take place what's interesting about all this i guess we could talk about zion in this section as well he talked about the russians how he was supposed to take their spot but all of a sudden they got a new place plug or something and he's asking Brayden who the fuck it is and Brayden has to tell him it's Noma because he's hurting this nigga he's scared out of his mind so he tells him about Noma and I thought that was gonna connect back to Tariq and Brayden but they don't even know that Zion is their plug Zion pulls up on Noma while she's in a little business meeting with that white nigga she met a few episodes ago don't remember his name 
I, I really don't care to, to be honest. But he pulls up on her and telling him basically this is his city, his territory, and he don't like having her around. She needs to go. And her being pissed about this goes back to Kane and asks him about Zion. And Kane says he's going to take care of it. Of course, you guys know we've been seeing the leaked exclusive pictures of them having a fight with one another. And then it takes place. And Kane, he kind of wins by default. He was beating the shit out of Zion. Zion got mad, pulled out some brass knuckles, whatever. Basically, he saved Noma, and that was that. I just thought it was interesting how that they didn't connect this plug back to Tariq and Brayden. Something also interesting to watch out for is that Davis, of course, got Tariq and Brayden to plug Zion, and he's working for Noma. Noma doesn't know he's currently playing both sides. So him having this meetup with them, that could be very interesting as well. Also, they did end up sleeping together within this episode. Noma and Davis, that is. We got to see how Kane feels about that down the line. But just so much was going on that I, I don't know why the fuck they go to a break. This shit is just getting crazy and crazier. They just raising the stakes more and more. Scene by scene, episode by episode. Last thing for this section, of course, we saw the exclusive scene yesterday, though, of Tariq and Braid getting to the argument because he doing coke obviously they start fighting over l knowing everything that's going on and this is the part where i talked about like l really went and drugged this man put acid in his water so he could get high Braden went off on her but he didn't tell Tariq it was her she's gonna continuously be a problem down the line i'm gonna make a video directly focused on tiny tommy and l over the next few days so be on the lookout for that but uh, i'm just hating this bitch more and more episode by episode now we get into Don Carter, what his organization actually is and why he's a dirty cop. Because it actually was more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Now, first off, this dude, a lunatic, he's insane. He was in his house talking to his dead wife as if she was alive. Obviously, he's still grieving, still going through that whole process. But talking to somebody that's not there is kind of, I don't know. But him and his task force made a plan to follow Tariq and Monet as well. But Monet just bad time and her and Drew decided they was going to rob Noma and the Russians on the route that Drew used to run for them. They was going to steal all the product. They was going to sell it themselves and then it was going to be done. It was going to be out with Don Carter keeping tabs on them. As soon as they rob and take the product on these trucks, they pull right up on them. So I thought it was done. It was wraps for them. I told you guys based on the episode descriptions in the future, it talks about them being under Don Carter's thumb. So I didn't really know what they meant by that, but turns out he's not bringing them to jail. What he is doing is he wants them to stay in place. He wants to know who the top dogs are, who are the big drug dealers, and he wants to keep them in that position because see what he said was that drug dealers are impossible to get rid of. It's supply and demand. If he takes them out, someone would just take that spot and it's just the cycle is going to repeat, repeat, repeat. So he prefers them being in this position because he could take them down at any moment now that he caught them but also he can now protect more civilians he says they could kill any criminals drug dealers whatever just don't hurt another civilian and everything is fine and he also told him he's gonna take 35 percent so this is his plan going forward to control them to make sure everything's in order he's gonna get them to take out other criminals for him while he sits back chill collects a check from them and he knows who the main players are so if he ever needs to take them down he absolutely could and he shows he's not playing right away one of the guys that was working with Monet and Drew he knew him from a murder he committed years ago he remembered that nigga face and when he looked at him he sold them he said see now y'all know basically I'm not playing and Monet and Drew are just gonna have to fall in line. So I'm just happy this nigga storyline and plan going forward has finally been revealed. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be continuous throughout the rest of the show. We already got teasers in the new trailer 
that we're gonna break down tomorrow once again like i said and also the episode like six seven eight descriptions all describe monet trying to get from on the car to stum Tariq and monet try to leverage that way from carter all this and that so we know he's gonna play a vital and important role going forward and i want to see how he gets brought down maybe he just continuously loses it his psyche just fucks him over because once again he's already talking to his dead wife out loud and i do think he will probably get mad or go after them because he said he doesn't want civilians to die but as we know Salim was killed by Tariq he's a regular civilian that got caught up in all their mess and I think that's why episode 6 talks about Diana risking her family's safety trying to protect Tariq from this kill but we're gonna make a whole video breaking that down as well because that theory I thought of as soon as I saw everything go down but yeah that's Don Carter's plan I ain't gonna lie it's pretty fun pretty interesting pretty new for the cop side of things i mean he's still dirty like all the rest of them but he's playing his cards a different way and i like that overall that's it for this video i feel like i covered everything like for a lot of these episode breakdowns some scenes are boring that i don't even bother talking about but this one i felt like i went over everything so you can tell me your thoughts and opinions on it all down below and if i missed anything put it in the comments as well once again everyone's mad they're going on break but we do already got a new teaser and sneak peeks that we can start breaking down and match up with our episode descriptions i do expect to get another official trailer sometime mid august right before the season releases in early september as well so it really won't be too long before we get our power content back this episode though i ain't gonna lie it was a banger it was a lot more set up for the rest of the season it wasn't really like a finale finale but i could live with that because i think we have a lot to look forward to in these next coming episodes as usual though you guys can leave a like comment subscribe let me know any other videos character specific topics you want to see me talk about while we on this little break and i will try to get to it all but i'm out